try real hard. I will try very hard to read this devotion without slurring my words, but I'm very sleepy and I did post what it said, so I hope I proofread it, kind of, sort of, so, um, and even though last time I posted, I was trying to stay caught up, I didn't read yesterday's devotion, which I don't understand why I didn't, but, so, let me go to page, so, that devotion is, it's good to remember, April, no, it was on April 20th, it's good to remember, God has caused his wonders to be remembered, Lord, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, Psalm 111.4, often when I'm tempted to give up, I pull out old journals and remind myself of God's faithfulness, when I do, I see all the good things God has done. I see that he has never left me alone or forsaken me. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to look up here. Um, or forsaken me. I remind myself that well, he who was faithful hmm, today, I don't know, he who hmm, Wow, my gosh, so dirty. That, no, I remember that. He who was faithful before will be faithful today and tomorrow. Hebrews 13, 8. I also focus on all he has blessed me with, from family to ministry to my healing and restoration. Every time I look back on how my life has unfolded, I see God's grace, redemption, and protection. Why not try this for yourself? Let the past fuel your future. Let your past encourage you. That if God brought you this far, he'll take you the rest of the way. The rest of the way. Your story is unique, and God has woven it. So look back over your own life to see God's gracious hand. See how far he has brought you. And remember, remember your own life to see God's gracious hand. No. See how far he's brought you and remember specific moments when he showed his faithfulness. Let those powerful memories carry you through difficult seasons and strength to face mm, challenges that come your way. John 16:33. Now let me see. That doesn't make sense. Oh wait, God's gracious. and then he can be changed and I posted this so it says carry you through difficult seasons and give you strength yeah that didn't make sense hmm how do I read it but I love this because for quite a, quite a few thousand hundred now, quite a lot of years before my accident, I started keeping a prayer journal 
so I could reflect back on what I had prayed about, how God filled that, and what's happening in my life. I just kind of journal, whatever. And it's good to reflect on things that you've brought to God and you've prayed about, and then just how God's answered those prayers. My prayer journal seemed to be a lot more full before this pandemic because I would go to Starbucks or Pikes Park or places and just spend time there and see who God brought in my path and it was just fabulous. I'd meet some amazing people and just how God used them in my life or used me in their life. It's been awesome and it's great that sometimes when I go to Starbucks, even though we can't sit inside, like sometimes some of the regulars will come by and like say, like tell me what's happening in their lives or like we talk on Facebook. Now what was I going to fix? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. So that was the twentieth. Um and it's the devotion was it's good to remember. So I mean it doesn't have to be like a grammatically correct journal, I just type completely random things, but that jogs my memory, so I know that, oh, I was praying about this, or, oh, I saw this person, that, well, before COVID, I saw this person at Starbucks, and they were talking to me about how their life, this is going wrong in their life, and I can pray about that, and then, like, I pray about that, and if I see them again or talk to them on Facebook, it's like I can see how God worked through their life. And now I, I don't know what else to fix, but hopefully someone will catch it because I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm so falling asleep, guys. Wow, class is awesome. I'm falling asleep. I think I just read wrong one. No, I didn't. Um, because it's good to remember. Mm. And then uh, today's is the light that means healing. The unfolding of your world gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. God's word gives light, and that light exposes all the darkness in our lives. Those places that need healing and restoration. Those places of pain, shame, hurt, or unforgiveness. When his light shines on our wounds, it frees us, gives us understanding, and takes us to the next no, I can't see, takes us to the next level of growth and maturity. God longs to heal us. Physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. In every way. Because he wants what's best for us. If you've been nursing wounds of pain for a long time, they may have compiled or crippled and immobilized you. Whether you realize it or not. Maybe you're holding back shrinking back from being who you really are. Maybe you diminish yourself, not ever fully exposing yourself and being truly 
vulnerable and authentic. Jesus wants to free you. Jesus wants to free you. Hmm. Hang on. That doesn't make sense. Jesus wants to free you. Oh, wait. Jesus wants to free you so you can live fully a lot. Live fully alive, fulfilling all he's called you to be and do. Invite Jesus to shine in your heart today. Let him engage in engage in the process with you of making you whole. Let him shine his word and, and love into those places you've long protected. Risk trusting a faithful and tender Savior. Thank you, God, for shining your light of truth, understanding, healing, guidance, and help. Thank you for shining your light on what needs to be healed. After having a session, I realized that these sessions are a time of mutual encouragement. Much of the time that I spend trying to encourage her encourages me and reminds me to live by the words that I speak and she speaks to me. I am so thankful that God put her in my life. It is a light that shines so brightly and causes me to re-examine what I have meditated on. Being that I am not doing today's devotion until almost 10 o'clock at night after our session, this is confirming how God is speaking to me and using others in my life and me and others. I am so excited. Paul unknowingly gave me a shout out while we were reminiscing on what a blessing John was and is and continues to be in our lives. As I confirm, I am doing just what I need to be doing. Cerebellum restoration and rehabilitation. Why do I, that feels like that's what I just read. Maybe that was dictating it. I don't know. But there's yesterday's and today's devotion. So I'm finally back on track. I just am sure to do tomorrow's devotion tomorrow morning because I'm so, I don't know, I'm going to sleep forever. No, I have to get up. Okay, let's get up. Oh, and I still need to ride my trike today. I think I did at least a morning mile. I mean, it's such a slacker. All I get done is my morning mile. So pitiful. There I go. Third dirty. My eyes can't see. Mm. I think I posted that. Let me make sure. Mm. I, yes, I did. Okay. Have a great night, guys. God bless you. Don't forget to smile. Be sure to sleep good. I'm so tired. Yay. I'm so tired.